Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host, Hulty Jim 7 and today we'll look at the Ultimate Game Rules plugin. Now, this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to make edits to game rules of certain worlds while still in game. Usually, you have to go into the config file and tweak things in there and then restart your server. However, this allows you to do it while in game using a GUI. Now, for an example, if I go to the top of this tall tower and then change my game mode to zero and then jump off of it, you would expect full damage. However, there is none because I have changed that game rule in the GUI and it takes immediate effect. So if I come back up here and do the command forward slash game rules, there's a few other ones, but this one is the easiest one to do. You will see a GUI pops up with a few different buttons. So there is a button for each world you can see and there is a different icon for each, which is really cool. And then down at the bottom, there is an exit one if you want to get out of the GUI. So if we go into the world we're actually in currently, you can see there is a ton of icons. Each one is a different rule. So if we look down here, this is the full damage one. So it tells you the default value is usually true, uh, which is obvious. Uh, however, I changed it to false. So most of these are Boolean, which means it's either true or false. You've got freeze damage, fire damage, and then up here, do fire tick, which should the fire spread naturally and extinguish. Uh, so there's quite a few things that you can change up here. However, there's a few which require numbers. So if we click this one, you can set a particular number. Let's set it to 30 and then have a look here. That will change the max NC cramming to 30 and the default value is 24. So that's kind of how you can do that. The max command chain length and various other things. There's not many that require numbers to be changed, but there's only a couple. And then as you can see, you can just change whichever ones you want. Now a really cool thing is you can copy game rules from a certain world. So if we click this and then select which ones we want to copy. So because we've made edits to this one, let's copy world. And then let's go back to the world we want to put the rules in. So world nether and then hit the paste button down here. And that will copy the game rules from world and paste them into world nether. So now if we go into world nether, that also has no full damage and all the other stuff, the 30 number we set as well. If we don't like that or want to reset it, there is a reset all button down here and we click that and that will reset it to 24, that to true and whatever else we did. And then we can obviously hit the exit button and that will be that. So that is how you would use it in game. The great thing about this plugin, it's literally plug and play. So download it, restart your server when it's in your plugins folder, and there is actually no config file. So what we're gonna do now is head over to the Spigot page and have a look over there. So here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.13 to 1.19. And as I said, you just click the rule you want to edit and either change it to true or false, or if it comes up with a GUI, pop a number in there and then click the paper to set it like that. And then it just shows you the various different screenshots, so what the GUI looks like, which we saw in game, and then obviously the Anvil as well. So a really fantastic plugin, very handy, and just works perfectly. Now if you want a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.